This is Mason Web TV, powered by HCC. This broadcast on Mason Web TV, powered by HCC, is being brought to you by Hood Canal Communications, keeping our community connected, and Maple Glen Senior Living Community in Shelton, celebrating the art of life. Good evening and welcome to the gymnasium on the campus of North Mason High School in Belfair, Washington. Tonight, we have a girls and boys high school basketball doubleheader with the Clahalla Eagles at the North Mason Bulldogs. I'm Dietrich Allen and you are watching the Maple Glen Senior Living Pre Game Show. The ladies are first. The girls from Belfair are coming off a 63-58 win at Central Kitsap Monday. Last season, North Mason girls went 8-11. This is the season opener for the Lady Eagles. Last season, Clahalia was 4-15. and 15. The Bulldogs have won the last two games against the Eagles and have taken 10 of the last 11 games. The last time these teams met was a year ago with North Mason beating Clahalia 67-31. Coming up on the Maple Glen Senior League pregame show, we'll talk with Bulldogs head coach, James Getty. It's game one of the girls and boys high school basketball doubleheader, the Clahalia Lady Eagles and the North Mason Lady Bulldogs, next on Mason Web TV, powered by HCC. There's always something happening at Maple Glen Senior Living Community in Shelton. From craft bazaars and farmers markets to art lectures and wedding receptions, this award-winning community has something for everyone. Caring staff, unbelievable meals, unmatched accommodations, and a signature dining room, all at one location, 1700 North 13th Loop in Shelton. Maple Glen is only feet away from the hospital, medical professionals, and pharmacies. Stop in for Sunday brunch or call to schedule a tour to view apartments at Maple Glen Senior Living Community in Shelton. Neighbors help each other. It's how community works. And it's how we do business at Hood Canal Communications. We know you count on us for value-priced internet, TV, and phone service. Backed by friendly local support. Your hard-earned dollars stay right here as we invest in our community, our people, and smart technology. Hood Canal Communications. Keeping our community connected while being a good neighbor. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Getting that college education. What are you gonna do? Graduate and take some office job? Be like everybody else. Or will you dare do something different? Like be a teacher. You could be my teacher. You got the skills. The smarts. Yes, you. You could be the teacher I never forget. That would be cool. Does that corporate job even have recess? What are you gonna make of yourself? What are you gonna make of me? Mason Web TV, powered by HCC, is getting in the holiday spirit with live coverage of the 2018 Christmastown USA Christmas Parade presented by Christmastown Kiwanis on Saturday, December 8th. Join us at 5 p.m. as each parade entry lights up downtown Shelton. Our vantage point will once again be the Angle Building at 4th and Railroad. It's the 2018 Christmastown USA Christmas Parade presented by Christmastown Kiwanis, 5 p.m. Saturday, December 8th on Mason Web TV, powered by HCC. And welcome back to uh, North Mason High School. Diedrich Allen at the top of stands behind the scorer's table. Mid-court here in the Maple Glen Senior Living a pregame show. It is now time to talk with the coach. And uh, it's about 45 minutes ago, I talked with uh, Bulldog coach James Getty. Coach Getty, let's talk about your Lady Bulldogs this year. Who do you have returning and any new faces you want to talk about? So we have four girls returning on varsity. We have Natalie Carsonson, Natalie Young, Natalie Matthews, and Kirsten Griffey. And the rest of them that's on varsity this year, some of them were on JV last year, but we have a couple freshmen. So let's talk about Monday's win and uh, CK. Uh, how'd you manage that? I mean, what was your game plan? Oh, it was great. I just told the girls to give it 120%, and they did it, and they prevailed. It worked really hard. I told them to screen those big girls out, and they did it, and 
we just scored a lot of points. It was fun. You run your offense through one particular player, or is it just somebody open? I, I have the motto on my team, and I start them out right to beginning beginning of the year. We have five guards, so it could be any given moment, any given guard that's going to run the play. So tonight you have Clahalia. Uh, what do you know about them, the Eagles? I don't know anything, and we're taking them serious. We're taking them that they're a D1 college team, and just play real hard and see what happens. A little bit early on the tip-off. Does that matter? No. I don't think so at all. It's good for the coach. <laughs> all right, coach. Thanks a lot. You bet. So with Mason uh, coach uh, James Getty, about 45 minutes ago or so, uh, is the Bulldogs, uh, Lady Bulldogs, 1-0 in the young season. And they're looking to make it 2-0. We'll be right back with starting lineups and more from uh, North uh, Mason High School. We'll be right back. This is Mason Web TV powered by HCC. of cigarettes over 15 years. She quit, and now there's a new lung cancer screening that could save her life. You stop smoking, now start screening. No matter how much you smoked, early detection could save you. Talk to your doctor or learn more at savedbythescan.org. There's always something happening at Maple Glen Senior Living Community in Shelton. From craft bazaars and farmers markets to art lectures and wedding receptions, this award-winning community has something for everyone. Caring staff, unbelievable meals, unmatched accommodations, and a signature dining room, all at one location, 1700 North 13th Loop in Shelton. Maple Glen is only feet away from the hospital, medical professionals, and pharmacies. Stop in for Sunday brunch or call to schedule a tour to view apartments at Maple Glen Senior Living Community in Shelton. And welcome back to North Mason High School, everyone. Getting ready for the uh, starting lineups here. And let's bring them to you uh, right now, if I can bring up the right screen. Hold on a second here. Well, there are your starting uh, five for both. So we will start out with the uh, visiting Eagles. Uh, Molly Lukey, or Lewick, uh, 5'2", junior guard. Kylie Woodrum, a 5'3", senior guard. Ethel Fish, 
a 5'6 sophomore guard, Katie Cooper, a 5'10 sophomore forward, and Kayla Ken uh, Hendricks, a 5'11 senior center for the Bulldogs. Natalie Karstensen, 5'10 junior, Natalie Matthews, a 5'8 junior. Alea Brown, a 5'8 sophomore. Kirsten uh, Griffey, a 5'7 junior. And Natalie Young, a 5'10 sophomore. So there are your starting five. You've got Lewick, Woodrum, Fish, Cooper, Hendricks for the Eagles. Karstensen, uh, Matthews, Brown, Griffey, and Young. The uh, starting lineups are being announced here. We will uh, take a quick timeout. We'll be right back with tip-off here on Mason Web TV, powered by HCC, if I can get out of my screen. Well, maybe we'll just keep it right here till the tip-off until I can get my commercials back. Stand by, please. And we'll be right back with the tip-off. Slow down. Slow down and move over. And move over. When you see lights, vests, or reflectors, please give us some room. Slow down and move over. When you need us, we've got your back. Do you have ours? You got our back? You got ours? You got our back? Please, slow down. And move over. There's always something happening at Maple Glen Senior Living Community in Shelton. From craft bazaars and farmers markets to art lectures and wedding receptions, this award-winning community has something for everyone. Caring staff, unbelievable meals, unmatched accommodations, and a signature dining room, all at one location, 1700 North 13th Loop in Shelton. Maple Glen is only feet away from the hospital, medical professionals, and pharmacies. Stop in for Sunday brunch or call to schedule a tour to view apartments at Maple Glen Senior Living Community in Shelton. Back in time for the tip-off. Bulldogs control. And there is a shot on the way off the back of the iron by Karstensen, and here come the Eagles. We have a travel and a first turnover of the ball game. And the Bulldogs get another uh, shot at this. Uh, that was Natalie Young on the drive and off the back of the uh, back of the backboard. Out of bounds. Eagles take over. In their backcourt, a little full court press. Inbounds to Hendricks. She bounces up the sidelines. Had to be saved inbounds. Ball still free. And the Bulldogs have it. Up top, three on the way, off the mark. And Hendricks pulls down uh, the rebound for Clahalia. But that was kicked out of bounds. Looked like it went off the uh, Lewick. But it did not. It'll be Clahaya ball mid-court. High post feed. Cooper with the ball, double teamed on the, the high post. Tied up by uh, Matthews, and that will be alternating possession. Stay in this part of the court. Now it'll be uh, baseline inbounds for the Eagles. Fish will uh, trigger the play. And actually, they're going to change it up. And it will be Hendricks. Right of the backboard for the inbounds. 
Picked up on the near box. Hendricks gets it in. That's to Lewick. She makes, missed the shot and the rebound's pulled down by Griffey. Griffey can bring it in up a little bit of pressure. Drive to the three-point arc, step inside, launch it, long one. That's off the mark. Rebound pulled down by Cooper. Here come the Eagles the other direction. Cooper stops. Throws it over to Lewick. Lewick drives baseline, blocked by Matthews, recovered by Matthews, and here come the Lady Bulldogs. Open three by Matthews, that rims off. Chase down in the corner by uh, Griffey. Griffey stops and pops in the baseline off the back of the iron, missed the shot, rebound, bounces out of bounds. It will stay with the Bulldogs in the baseline inbounds. Matthews will trigger the play from the left of the backboard. Bulldogs are stacked up side of the key. In it goes to Karstensen, and she'll hit the first uh, basket of the game, 2-0 North Mason on top early. Almost two minutes gone here in the ballgame. Cooper with the ball across the midcourt for Klahalia, loses the handle and stole away, or actually, by the uh, Bulldogs. And Natalie Young will be fouled. Didn't see who the foul was on, unfortunately. Sideline inbounds. And an offensive foul on Matthews. That's first turnover on the Bulldogs. North Mason goes full court press. Here comes Cooper. Cooper gets it up to Lewick. Lewick finds Hendricks cutting to the uh, bucket. He went off her hands out of bounds. That'll be Bulldog ball. Inbounds goes to Carsonson, to Griffey. Griffey brings it across the mid timeline, goes to the box, threw up a shot, and drew the foul. Didn't see who that uh, foul is on either. At the free throw line, Kirsten Griffey, first of two free throws. Hit the first one. She'll get another one. Second one off the back of the iron. And Carstensen will let it go out of bounds. It'll stay with the Bulldogs. It'll be baseline inbounds near the far corner. Inbounds, goes to Griffey, one dribble, over to Carstensen, pull up jumper just inside the arc, missed it, rebound tracked down by uh, Lewick. Lewick throws it up and out of the grasp of uh, Woodrum, and another turnover. I have five on the Eagles so far in this uh, first quarter. A little bit of a press by the Eagles. Griffey stops, throws it in the middle of the court. That's Brown. Brown deflected and stolen away and stolen right back. Throwing it up off the mark was Karstensen. Rebound by Griffey, missed, and here comes Cooper the other way. Throws going coast to coast, missed the layup. Rebound pulled down by the Bulldogs. And that'll be a jump ball, and that'll be North Mason ball. An early tip off for the Lady Bulldogs here. The boys game after this one. We'll have that one for you as well. That's Young driving to the hoop. Can't get it to fall. Ball is tapped and controlled by Matthews. She'll turn around, dribble out, set the offense. Nope, she's going to drive into the hoop. Drew the foul on Klahalia. Third team foul. Personal foul went on uh, Molly Hook. Be baseline inbounds for. North Mason checking into the ball game for Rick Lahalia. Aaliyah Schultz. Inbounds goes to Carstensen. Her jumper's off. Rebound pulled down by Cooper. Cooper will get it to Lewick. Lewick will bring it up near side. Down it goes to Hendricks. Hendricks out to Schultz. Schultz jumper off. Rebound pulled down by Carstensen. Knocked out of bounds by up the Eagles. 
They're going to give it to Klahalia under the basket. Hendricks inbounds to Cooper. Cooper left alone, missed the shot, got her own rebound, rejected. I believe that was Cartenson. And here comes Griffey. Griffey stops at the top. Ooh, threw it right to Cooper. Cooper back the other way. Over Schultz. Schultz pull a jumper off the glass. No. Rebound knocked out of bounds. That'll go over to the Bulldogs. Alexa Watson steps onto the court for Clahalia. And Ethel Fish will sit down. Griffey has the ball in back court for North Mason. Over to Carstensen. Carstensen throws it up. Going to the hoop. It was Matthews missed a shot, knocked out of bounds by the uh, by the Eagles. Baseline inbounds right at the backboard. Matthews throws it in, trying to get it to Griffey. Uh, grabbed actually on the inbounds by Lewick. She was standing on the sideline, so it's out of bounds, so no possession. It's Bulldog ball. Quick inbounds to Griffey. Griffey for three in the corner. Nope. Rebound right there to get it was Young. Turnaround hook, no, still hasn't hit the backboard. This time it's pulled down by Watson. Watson in trouble in backcourt. Finds Cooper. Cooper throws it up to Lewick. Lewick to the three-point arc. Off of uh, Cooper. Got it back somehow. Back to the basket, driving, knocked out. Knocked away again. And a late whistle. Griffey with the uh, near pick there, but they're gonna get her for a foul, I believe. So Alyssa Marion is in for the Bulldogs. And another turnover on the Eagles. That makes seven by my count. First, okay, it's two team fouls. It's Bulldog ball. Griffey top of the key. Over to Carsonson. Back to Griffey. Near side now. And that's Brown. Turnaround jumper by Marion. Marion missed the shot, and here come the Eagles. But Schultz can't handle it on the far sidelines. Turn the ball right back over. Kaylee Ann Roberts steps on for Clahalia. And Watson will sit down. Here come the Bulldogs, however, with a 3 0 lead. Griffey over to Marion, and Marion picked up her pivot foot before she made the move. And that's four turnovers on North Mason. Woodrum will step back onto the court for the Eagles. Schultz will sit down. Lewick with the ball now for Klahalia. Nice anticipation, but it's uh, did not turn it over as Cooper missed the jumper, and it will be a Bulldog ball. Still 3 nothing. Here comes Griffey between the circles. Ooh, she tried to get it over to the near side. A little miscommunication in the fifth turnover on North Mason. Klahalia ball in the back court, right at the end of their bench. Or in the middle of their bench, I should say. Lewick will bring it up. Throw it over to the corner, trying to get it to Roberts. She can't handle the pass, out of bounds. It's nine turnovers on Klahalia. Fish is back in the ball game for Klahalia. Here comes Cartinson. Cartinson. Over it goes to Marion. Marion long two, missed the shot, rebound, knocked out of bounds. It'll be knocked out by uh, Hendricks. It'll be Bulldog ball under the backboard. From the right side now. Matthews will trigger the play. Looking it in, finds uh, Cartinson. Cartinson turn around jumper, missed it, but Matthews is there to clean it up and put it in. So it's five, nothing, and North Mason on top. Here comes Lewick. Lewick over to Woodrum. And a jumper on the way off the backboard. That was Fish. Ball ping-pongs around all the way out near the sidelines. 
And somehow, Woodrum saved it in bounds. There's a foul on the Marion Bulldogs. Woodrum. And Marion picked up her first. Third team foul. Be sideline inbounds for the Eagles. Woodrum will trigger the play. Gets it into Lewick. Lewick between the circles. Back to Woodrum, down low to the baseline, stolen away by Curtinson. Curtinson on the run for the Bulldogs. Turning the other way, nice pass down low. Putting it up a little too hard is Brown on the turnover and a foul on the play as Kaylee Ann Roberts picked up her first 14 fouls on Clahalia at the free throw line is Aliyah Brown for North Mason. 5-0 lead, 145 to go here first quarter. First free throw goes in. Three off the uh, bench for Clahalia. You've got uh, Kayla Pinsky radford in for the first time, and Jenna Hudson as well. I think Schultz came back in as, we as well. Returning for North Mason, Abigail Green actually on the court for the first time. And we have a number two. Wait a minute, that must be a Shoemaker. Getting in there. Second free throw on the way for Brown. Rimmed off. Rebound nearly tracked down in the corner by Green. Goes out of bounds. It'll be Clahalia Ball. 143 to go here. First quarter. 6 nothing. North Mason with the lead. Clahalia with the ball. Here comes Woodrum. Bringing the ball up for the Eagles. Nice anticipation. Knocked free. Griffey with the ball now for North Mason going the other way. Stops, pops for three, off the glass, no. Rebound pulled away by Schultz. And Marion's going to pick up her second personal. Be baseline inbounds, backcourt for the Eagles. Inbounds goes to Schultz. Schultz quickly up. Nice pass down low, lead player, and it's up and in by Woodrum, the first basket of the night for the Eagles. Four-point lead for North Mason. The minute 14 in counting, the first quarter clock. Three on the way, they rattled in and out. Rebound put up at no by Shoemaker. And here comes Fish. Pull-up jumper went off. And here comes Marion, pinned it on her hip, and then they're going to get a uh, delayed call there. It's a double dribble. Six turnovers on the Bulldogs. It'll be Eagle Ball with 52 seconds to go in the uh, first quarter. Woodrum will inbounds it. Get it into uh, Finsky Radford. Fish trying to lay the so pass down low. It's deflected out of bounds. It'll be... Eagle ball, baseline inbounds, right of the backboard. Hudson will trigger the play. Inbounds to Fish, stolen away by Brown. Brown coming the other way for the Bulldogs. Stops at the top of the key. Can keep her dribbles, get tripped up. And a foul called on Clahalia. And that'll go on Aaliyah Schultz, her first. The baseline inbounds for North Mason. Left of the backboard. Griffey inbounds it to Brown. Brown had to go get it. Up top, wide open, three by Shoemaker. That rims off. Got her own rebound. Steps to the hoop. Had it blocked. Goes out of bounds off of Brown. The equal ball. Watson will step back onto the court for Clahalia. Ethel Fish will sit down. Comes Finsky Radford. Open jumper. Rattle all the way out. Goes deep in the cup and out by Schultz. Goes out of bounds and it'll be Bulldog ball with 14.7 seconds to go in the first quarter. 6 4. Bulldogs lead with the ball. There's Griffey, top of the key. Trying to drive, lost the handle. And then we're going to have a late whistle. Five team fouls. Kirsten picked up her first personal foul. 6.9 seconds to go in the first. Near steal by uh, Marion. 
3.3 now. Watson will trigger the play, throw it in, deflected, and it goes to, was that? That was Schultz missed the shot at the buzzer. We head to the second. North Mason up 6-2 to two after one. We'll be right back. This is Mason Web TV powered by HCC. There are so many great things about life in Mason County, and Hood Canal Communications is proud to be one more. Headquartered in Union, we offer the speed and reliability your family needs, backed by hometown service and support. Whether you need to just check email or power all those Wi-Fi devices around your home, HCC has the right package for you. Stop by one of our friendly offices, call or visit hcc.net to learn more. Hood Canal Communications, keeping our community connected. Mason Web TV, powered by HCC, is the only media outlet in Mason County providing live broadcasts of high school basketball, and sponsorships are available. Advertise your business, promote an event, let everyone know you support our student athletes. Contact Mason Web TV right now for advertising options. Waiting for the start of the second quarter. Six to four is our score. North Mason with the lead. Ohio will start the quarter with the ball. Got uh, Lewick. Cooper. Uh, Finsky, Radford. Uh, let's see here. Watson and Hendricks on the court for the Eagles. Pass down low, picked off, stolen away by Young. Up to Griffey for North Mason. Nice vision down low. Brown couldn't finish on the play, but it's knocked out of bounds. On the 11th the turnover for Clahalia. Baseline inbounds. Matthews triggers the play. Throws it in to Cartinson. Cartinson throws one off the glass, missed it. Rebound popped out. Griffey has it, fakes the shot, finds Cartinson. Taps it down to the baseline. Matthews, Matthews had it blocked. But out to Griffey. Griffey finds Carstensen, pinched off, kick ball. And we're going to have a uh, foul, actually. On, on uh, Lick. Baseline inbounds. Matthews gets it into Griffey. Griffey, she picked up her pivot foot before she... Nice ball fake, though. Goes over to the Eagles. Inbounds right to Brown. She'll take a couple steps to the hoop, lay it up and in off the turnover. Three points for Alea. A dozen turnovers for the Eagles. Schultz gets it across court. There's an over and back. Not a good uh, choice to throw it back by uh, Hendricks. And that's 13 turnovers. For Clahalia. Watson will sit down, who came in. And yeah, Fish is back in for the Eagles. Griffey throws it over to Young. Young, three on the way outside. Ooh. It's on Matthews with the rebound, but it'll be an offensive foul on her. Her second. Sixth team foul. Quickly up the sidelines there are the Bulldogs. Cooper finds Lewick. Lewick. Back to Cooper. Quick hands with the Bulldogs. Trouble for the Eagles. That's uh, Pinsky Radke. Gets it over to uh, Lewick, and Lewick is fouled. I didn't see who that was on. So th uh, three shots for uh, Molly Lewick. I believe he said three on the foul. First one off the mark. Just get another one. I should get two more. Fouled on the three. Got the second of three. So Schultz will return, and Woodrum will return. Fish and uh, Finsky Radford will sit down for Clahalia as Malie. Lewick missed her third shot. Rebound goes to Carstensen. Carstensen over to Young. Young to the baseline. Jumping, running, hook. Doesn't fall. Rebound goes to Matthews. Right back up. 
Missed that one, rebound pulled down by Cooper. Cooper out of the pack, throws it up to Woodrum. Woodrum off the glass, no. Rebound out to Brown. Brown's gonna end up traveling. This is an up and down game and a lot of turnovers. Not a lot of scoring so far. Got nine turnovers on the Bulldogs, 13 on the Eagles. The Eagles have the ball over to Cooper. Cooper bar bothered by Griffey. And a five count. And that goes down by a 14 turnover on Clahalia. Uh, <coughs> Tartanson will bring it up for North Mason, crossing midcourt, top of the key. Over it goes. To Brown, Brown runner falls off, rebound pulled down by uh, Schultz. Schultz had it knocked out of her hands by the quick hands. I think it was Brown over there. They stay with the Eagles. Six minutes to go here in the half. Low scoring game and another turnover. Here comes Griffey. Griffey center of the court, top of the key. Throws it over to Cartinson. Cartinson to the foul line at the elbow. Hit the jumper. Her second basket of the night. And the lead is seven. Lewick to Cooper. Cooper jumper just outside the foul line. It's a brick. Rebound goes to Griffey. Griffey had it knocked out of her hands. Out of bounds. Uh, Lewick. It'll stay with the Bulldogs. Brown will bring it up, top of the key. Gonna drive to the foul line, stop and pop. Oop, hit the top of the back, uh, the, what do you call that, the pipe that holds the backboard. We have a timeout. We'll take it. This is Mason Webb TV, powered by HCC. Clahalia ball coming out of the timeout. Cooper will trigger the play, guarded by Young. Inbounds goes to uh, Woodrum. Woodrum gets it up to Lewick. Lewick to the three-point arc to the out, to the side of the paint, puts it up, missed the shot, rebound tracked down by uh, Schultz. Schultz turns around, lost the handle. Matthews ties it up. It's a jump ball that will go over to the uh, Bulldogs. 5.13 to go here in the half, 10-3. North Mason with the ball and the lead. Cartsonson finds Griffey, Griffey, long two, rimmed off. Rebound tapped and controlled by Matthews. Saves it inbounds around, uh, to Young, but finds it, gets it back. Griffey with a nice little move off the jumper, or off the dribble, and should nail the, uh, the jumper. It's a nine point lead, largest of the night. Comes Lewick, Lewick quickly up to Hendricks. Hendricks to the side of the paint to the box, stripped by Cartsonson. Cartsonson back the other way for North Mason. Stops, lobs it up, over through Brown. Hendricks tracks it down. Here comes Lewick. Molly. Over to Woodrum. Woodrum steps inside the arc, launches a long two that spins in. Here comes Griffey between the circles at the top of the key. Throws it over to Cartinson. Cartinson steps inside the arc, long two, hits it. That's six points for her, and that's back up to nine. The lead, that is. Woodrum throws it to Lewick. Lewick, center of the court, lost the handle. Here comes Brown for North Mason. Center of the court. Near side to Griffey. Griffey had it knocked out of her hands right to the Cahalia <laughs> coach. Morgan Shoemaker steps back onto the court, replacing Young. And here comes Abigail Green as well for North Mason. And let's see here. Hudson is back in for Clahalia. And 
and so is Finsky Radford. So this Bulldog ball, sideline inbounds. There's Cartinson over two uh, Eagles, missed the shot, rebound pulled down by Plahalia, here they come. That's <laughs> jumper by Schultz, missed it. Matthews pulls down the rebound, pulls it away actually from her own player, throws it all the way up and intended for pass to Green. It goes out of bounds. Uh, it'll be 11 turnovers on North Mason. Lady Bulldogs up nine here, 3.35 to go in the half. Klahalia with the ball. It's Woodrum with it. Throws over to, actually that's uh, Radford to Cooper. Got away with a double dribble. Woodrum with the ball, backs out trying to set the offense. There's another travel, no call. Cooper with it, loses a handle in the paint. There's going to be a foul on the play. And I think that will go on Shoemaker, her first. It's 18 fouls on North Mason. So Klahalia is at the free throw line for the first of a one and one, and it's Katie Cooper. And Schultz gets a rest, who, and Fish is back in there. First free throw off the mark, rebound. Bulldogs come away with it somehow. Here comes Matthews. Matthews to the three-point arc. Trying to make a step, tied up by Fish, and still fighting. That'll be a jump ball and alternating possession. Official inbounds before Klahalia, trailing by nine. Here comes Finsky Radford for the Eagles. Met by Brown. Throw to Cooper. Cooper, a couple of dribbles, throws it over to Fish. Fish on the three-point arc. No. Rebound. Hudson had it, lost it out of bounds. That'll go over to the Bulldogs. Cartinson. Cartinson, I should say. Top of the key on the dribble. Lots it over to Brown, back to Cartinson. Cartinson stops, lobs it to Matthews. Matthews hesitated just a little bit, and I think that threw her off in her motion. Missed the shot, and here come the Eagles. Cooper to Fish, looking for Hudson, gets it down to Hudson. Finds Cooper's side of the paint, blocked from the side. Rebound goes to Matthews. Matthews center of the court. Throw it over Cartinson. Cartinson. Uh, Cartinson. Double team, Fish ties her up. That'll stay with the Bulldogs on the jump ball. Rachel Youngman will step onto the court for North Mason. Matthews will sit down. Baseline inbounds for the uh, Bulldogs. Left of the backboard. Cartinson will lob it up top to Youngman. Youngman drives side of the paint, missed the shot, rebound pulled down by Hudson for Klahalia, now to Fish. Fish spinning out of the pack. Up it goes to Woodrum, back to Cooper, to Fish. Fish way outside, lob it to Cooper at the uh, high post. Lost the handle, goes right to Fish. Back down low, and Cartinson with another steal. At 11 turnovers, I'm sorry, 19 turnovers for the Eagles. That's Youngman. Knocked out of bounds by, by the Eagles. So Watson steps back onto the court for Klahalia. And Marion is back on for North Mason. It's Bulldog ball in the corner on the sideline inbounds. Cartinson lobs it in to Mar Marion. Marion for three. That's off. Rebound out off the one bounce. Here come the Eagles. Finsky Radford. Foul going to the hoop, I believe. And that will go, the foul, that will go be on uh, Rachel Youngman. So Kayla Finsky Radford, first free throw, that's off. Rebound goes to the Bulldogs. Mary. Up to Youngman, missed the shot, tracked down the rebound. Was green, turn around, no, but right there to put it up and in. Who was that? <laughs> oh, that was Shoemaker. Their first point, uh, points of the night. 
Nearly another steal, but they're going to get a Marion with uh, or no, is it Cartinson? Wait a minute, hold on a second. Cooper picked up her first. Means we will uh, walk to the other end of the court and. No, we will not. I didn't think so. An off, uh, offensive foul. They don't usually shoot. So it's Bulldog ball in the uh, backcourt. Youngman will bring it up. Swing it over to Cartinson. Cartinson over to Shoemaker. Shoemaker for three. That's a little off. Rebound. Ooh, not able to handle it with Watson. Tried to corral it to herself off the dribble and dribbled it right out of bounds. So it's Bulldog ball. Marion will trigger the play. Left of the backboard. Roberts steps back on for the Eagles. So we play, uh, replace Watson. Marion inbounds, threw it into a crowd, deflects off of uh, Eagles, and here comes Cooper. Cooper has an open lane, goes right to the hoop, puts it up, missed it. Rebound, Cartinson. Center of the court on the dribble to the top of the key. Stops and pops at the foul line, elbow, missed it. Rebound, Marion right back up, missed it, partially blocked. And here comes Cooper again for the Eagles. Right to the hoop. She's hacked and fouled by Youngman. That's Rachel's uh, second, if I got my car count right. Cooper at the free throw line for two shots now. First one. Nope. Second one, no, rebound, uh, actually Shoemaker, Shoemaker with the, the ball, throws it down to Marion, missed the shot, and the rebound was Youngman tried to put it back up, missed that as well, and we have a uh, ball out of bounds, <laughs> it will be Bulldog ball. Baseline inbounds right of the backboard. Marion inbounds, catch and shoot off the mark by Youngman. Cartinson with the rebound. She loses the handle on her shot. Goes out of bounds. It'll stay with the, or actually go over to the Eagles. Lewick will step back onto the court for the Eagles. Full court press by the Bulldogs inbounds. Goes to Schultz. Schultz double teamed over through an intended target. Here comes Cartinson. Cartinson mid court. Three point arc. Foul line. Stops, pops, and hits. Off the turnover, and it's a 13-point lead, the largest of the night. And that'll do it at the half. After one, North Mason 18, Clahalia 5. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back with uh, the Maple Glen Senior Living Halftime Show in just a moment. This is Mason Web TV, powered by HCC. There's always something happening at Maple Glen Senior Living Community in Shelton. From craft bazaars and farmers markets to art lectures and wedding receptions, this award-winning community has something for everyone. Caring staff, unbelievable meals, unmatched accommodations, and a signature dining room, all at one location, 1700 North 13th Loop in Shelton. Maple Glen is only feet away from the hospital, medical professionals, and pharmacies. Stop in for Sunday brunch or call to schedule a tour to view apartments at Maple Glen Senior Living Community in Shelton. I lost my mother to a drunk driver. She taught me to be kind and good and strong. Be a positive force in a sometimes cruel world. 
I want to do everything I can to keep Washington a beautiful place. For my children, for your children. Become a Washington State Trooper. Frustrated by rising cable prices? You're not the only one. As your local cable TV provider, we work hard to give you the channels you want to watch the local news, enjoy family night, and cheer on your favorite sports team. We also fight to keep your rates fair, but at the negotiating table, large corporate broadcasters demand higher fees for their programming. As TV viewership goes down, broadcast rates continue to go up. It's not fair. None of us should cover their losses. Visit KeepTheConnections.com for more information on how we're working for you. It's halftime here in North Mason High School in the girls' game of this uh, boys, uh, girls and boys uh, doubleheader, basket, uh, high school basketball doubleheader. The Lady Bulldogs lead the Lady Eagles from Cahalia 18-5, leading the way for North Mason. And Natalie Cartinson has eight points. Uh, Kirsten Griffey has three. Molly Brown also has a three. A basket for Natalie Matthews and a basket for Morgan Shoemaker. For the Eagles, Kylie Woodrum has four points. Uh, Mally Lewick has a, has a free throw. That uh, counts for the five points. Bigger statistic here is the turnovers. Quite a few in this ball game, but Kalahalia is kind of leading the way. And we'll talk about that in just a moment. This is Mason Webb TV, powered by HCC. We'll be uh, right back with the turnover situation and talk a little bit about what's coming up after this game. Stand by. This is Mason Web TV, powered by HCC. Oh, Mason Web TV, powered by HCC, is the only source for live broadcasts of high school basketball in Mason County. Join us Friday for the basketball version of the Mason County Cup when the North Mason boys travel to Shelton. Kick off in the mini dome is at 7, only on Mason Web TV, powered by HCC. This is your brain, this is drugs. This is your brain on drugs. Any questions? Um, yeah, I have questions. Prescription drugs aren't as bad as street drugs, right? Weed's legal, isn't it? Drinking is worse than smoking weed, isn't it? Why it is heroin, heroin so, so addictive? Molly just makes you feel happy. I have questions. Mom? Dad, did you ever try drugs? They're going to ask. Be ready. Go to drugfree.org. A message from Partnership for Drug-Free Kids. Mason Web TV, powered by HCC, is getting in the holiday spirit with live coverage of the 2018 Christmastown USA Christmas Parade presented by Christmastown Kiwanis on Saturday, December 8th. Join us at 5 p.m. as each parade entry lights up downtown Shaw. Our vantage point will once again be the Angle Building at 4th and Railroad. It's the 2018 Christmastown USA Christmas Parade presented by Christmastown Kiwanis, 5 p.m. Saturday, December 8th on Mason Web TV, powered by HCC. I admit, I did try another TV provider. It sounded like a great deal, but I quickly realized it wasn't. When I read the fine print, I was locked into a long-term contract with a huge cancellation fee. So I came back to HCC. They're more reliable, the service is local, and I save bundling internet and phone with them too. And I'm a lot happier now. Great service from a local company. Stay with HCC. Well, it's halftime. 18 to five is our halftime score. North Mason leading at Clahalia by 13 points. I was gonna talk about turnovers. That has, there have been a lot of them in this ball game. Uh, Clahalia, I have 19 turnovers in the first half. North Mason, 12. Neither team could really take advantage of these uh, turnovers. However, North Mason's done a little bit more, a better job getting the ball in the, ho uh, in the hoop after the uh, turnover. And uh, hence why uh, Clahalia has uh, two point had two points in this uh, first quarter and three in the second. So a lot of work to do for the Eagles. This is their, the, the Lady Eagles, this is their first uh, game of the season. So uh, 
Coach, is, uh, Coach Allen is uh, trying to figure out the best combination out there and who uh, works the best. Now the Bulldogs seem to just in, uh, rotate in and out <laughs> as quickly as Coach Getty wants to bring them in as they need, and they're one for the other really much across the board. There's no real size difference in many of these girls. I think, uh, let's see, six foot uh, Morgan Shoemaker is six foot. I uh, got Natalie Kartensen about uh, is at uh, five ten. I mean, if five four, five eight, five six, five seven, five six, five eight, five seven, and five nine. So uh, he did say in the pregame that it's uh, a lot of is a team full of guards. So one for the other is pretty much what he gets. It's whoever has a hot hand coming into a game. And so far, at least in the second uh, quarter, Natalie Kartensen with eight points leading the way so far. We'll see what happens in the second half. And we're just a couple of minutes away from that. We'll be right back. This is Mason Webb TV powered by HCC. There's always something happening at Maple Glen Senior Living Community in Shelton. From craft bazaars and farmers markets to art lectures and wedding receptions, this award-winning community has something for everyone. Caring staff, unbelievable meals, unmatched accommodations, and a signature dining room, all at one location, 1700 North 13th Loop in Shelton. Maple Glen is only feet away from the hospital, medical professionals, and pharmacies. Stop in for Sunday brunch or call to schedule a tour to view apartments at Maple Glen Senior Living Community in Shelton. The Living Room. It's a great place to watch TV. Just like your backyard, break time at the office, or waiting for your ride. Now you can watch TV everywhere. Stream your favorite shows or live TV from many channels in your cable package on any computer, tablet, or smartphone. It's all included in Hood Canal Communications TV service for no extra cost. Sign up to watch TV everywhere today. Call or visit Hood Canal Communications online to learn more. Mason Web TV, powered by HCC, is the only source for live broadcasts of high school basketball in Mason County. Join us Friday for the basketball version of the Mason County Cup when the North Mason boys travel to Shelton. Tip off in the mini dome is at 7, only on Mason Web TV, powered by HCC. That's my neighbor Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, John. Joe's about to make a big mistake. Hey, Joe. I think it might be a good idea to call 811 to have the utilities marked before you start digging? I'm not digging very deep. It's no big deal. <laughs> no big deal. Dad, the TV's out. Internet, too. Remember, safe digging always starts with a free call to 811. Oh, what a knucklehead. Waiting for the start of the third quarter. With the Lady Bulldogs leading 18 to 5. Here at North Mason High School. Bulldogs trying to make it to two in a row. Start the season uh, two and oh. Glalia, the first game of the season. Got to start with the uh, with a win as well. So uh, teams are out there. I don't see any referees as of yet. Looks like um, Clahalia will likely start out with the ball. You got Fish. Uh, let's see here. Woodrum, Lewick, uh, Hendricks, and Cooper, I believe, out there for Clahalia for the Bulldogs. Cartinson, Young, uh, Matthews, Griffey, and Brown. Here come the refereeing crew. I'll get this third quarter underway. We're just a few seconds away. You can see it ticking down there. We're going to stop it and we're get ready. Here we go. Clahalia will start out with the ball here in the third quarter. Fish will get it into Lewick. And, uh, Lewick and Lewick will bring it up. Throw it over to Woodrum. High post feed to Cooper. Cooper over to Fish. Fish looking low. And <laughs> it's knocked out of bounds by uh, Brown right into the referee standing there. And he technically is out of bounds. Had nowhere to go. It was right there on the play. So it's a Clahalia ball. Official inbounds it to Cooper. Cooper drives baseline trying to get by. 
Drives a double team, picked up a pivot foot, but right in front of the ref, no whistle. Out to Fish, Fish for three, no. Rebound goes to Brown. Brown comes out of the pack. And it's fouled by Woodrum. That's her first. And the first of the half. So the Bulldogs will see what they can do in their first possession. Cartinson. Quick passes to Matthews, side of the paint. Turns, tried to get around, turn around. Hook, partially blocked. Cooper with the rebound. Here come the Eagles. Long way to go for Clahalia. Get back in this game. Cross court, it goes to Fish. Fish down right to Cartinson and turnover. Start things, or start things out, and Cartinson goes coast to coast. Give her 10 points. And the lead is 15. Fish with the ball for Clahalia back to Lewick. Lewick to Cooper. High po uh, post turnaround at the elbow. Missed the shot. Uh, Matthews tried to do a tightrope along the baseline after the rebound. Can't keep her feet in bounds. So it'll go over to the uh, Eagles under the backboard. Cooper triggering the play, looking it in. Finds Hendricks. Hendricks lost the handle. Matthews with a, with a pick behind the back dribble, trying to maintain their dribble. Throws it up. To Young, Young, wide open lane to the hoop, put it up and in. And a full timeout straight away for the Eagles. 6.39 to go in the third quarter, 22 to 5. We'll be right back. This is Mason Webb TV, powered by HCC. There's always something happening at Maple Glen Senior Living Community in Shelton. From craft bazaars and farmer's markets to art lectures and wedding receptions, this award-winning community has something for everyone. Caring staff, unbelievable meals, unmatched accommodations, and a signature dining room, all at one location, 1700 North 13th Loop in Shelton. Maple Glen is only feet away from the hospital, medical professionals, and pharmacies. Stop in for Sunday brunch or call to schedule a tour to view apartments at Maple Glen Senior Living Community in Shelton. Neighbors help each other. It's how community works. And it's how we do business at Hood Canal Communications. We know you count on us for value-priced internet, TV, and phone service, backed by friendly local support. Your hard-earned dollars stay right here as we invest in our community, our people, and smart technology. Hood Canal Communications, keeping our community connected while being a good neighbor. On the inbounds, Lewick uh, ran, uh, loses the ball out of bounds, but it's knocked out by uh, Griffey, I believe. And it's uh, the Eagles are in the front court. Fish will bounce it into Cooper. Cooper lost the handle out of bounds, knocked out by Griffey again. And it'll stay with uh, the Eagles. Fish will reset. Got Young in her face, bounces it into Hendricks, can't handle it, but it rolls right to Lewick. Lewick had it partially blocked, saves it in bounds. Nice spin move uh, by uh, Hendricks. Missed the shot, but uh, drew the foul. Now we'll go on Brown. It's her second. Starting to catch up here. And uh, Kayla Hendricks at the free throw line for two free throws. Missed the first one, we'll get another one. Let's see here. The Eagles are one for seven at the free throw line. Actually, so eight at the free throw line. Shoemaker will step back onto the court for the Bulldogs. Matthews will sit down. As Klahalia's Kayla Hendricks has her second free throw. Got one to roll in. And here comes Brown. Brown just threw it away. And that's over and back. And that's the uh, 13th turnover on North Mason. The uh, Eagles have 21 turnovers, just if you're keeping pace. Cooper will trigger the play way back from the left of the backboard, finds the Lewick. Lewick under the basket, muscling. <laughs> oh, really, you're going to call a towel, uh, to foul, actually, on Young, although Lewick was throwing elbows. It's all right, we'll reset from the baseline. Inbounds goes to Woodrum. Woodrum trying to get down to Lewick, and it's knocked away. Here come the Bulldogs, ball thrown a little too far, but 
Brown will come away with it in the corner. Finds Young, Young drives, and is fouled. And uh, Ali Dwick will pick up her third. And Schultz quickly up off the bench, but she'll go get uh, Woodrum instead of uh, Dwick. Inbounds. Goes to Brown. Brown over to Shoemaker. Shoemaker dribbles to the corner, takes a shot. That's in. It's a three. Your second basket of the night. 19-point lead for the Bulldogs. And Brown's going to be called to her third personal. There'll be uh, three team fouls. Green will step onto the court. Brown will sit down. Sideline inbounds. Fish will trigger the play below us between the scorer's table and uh, her bench. Inbounds goes to Cooper. Cooper between the circles, daring, daring Griffey to steal it away, and Griffey knocks it out of bounds. We'll do it again from the same spot. Inbounds to Cooper. Cooper driving around Young, puts it up short. Rebound goes to Cartinson. Cartinson weaves around traffic, throws it up. Finds Griffey wide open under the basket, lays it up and in. A 21-point uh, lead for the Bulldogs. Hendricks can't handle it. There's bodies falling all over the place. And they're going to call traveling on the Bulldogs. Matthews will step back in. Young will sit down for North Mason. Fish will trigger the play for Klahalia. Throws it into Hendricks. Hendricks just muscles up a shot. Missed it. Cartinson with the rebound. Here come the Bulldogs at the far sidelines. Center of the court to Matthews off of Hendricks out of bounds, but they're going to say it went off of Matthews. Under five minutes to go here, third quarter. No North Mason here tonight. Lewick knocked out of, uh, loses the ball, but uh, Griffey had a lot to do with it. So we'll throw it in bounds. Fish will trigger the play. Bounce it in, the ball is deflected, and here come the Bulldogs. Shoemaker with a cleanup, can't get it to, ro to drop. And it was green with the steal. The missed layup, but we have a uh, foul on Three. Matthews, her third. Marion will step on, Matthews will sit down. Who came in for Clahalia? Well, Woodrum will replace it, Lewick, and Schultz is in there as well. Woodrum will bring the ball up with a pass up the court. Woodrum threw up a three that came up short. Rebound by Green to, to Griffey. Griffey up and in, and the foul. And that will go on Schultz with her second. And Kirsten Griffey, oops, that's the wrong player. <laughs> there we go. Put in the right box, maybe we'll get it right. Possible three-point play. Free throw off. Rebound pulled down by Hudson in there. And a steal by Cartinson. Cartinson turn around, jumper, no. Rebound by Hudson. And I think Marion will get the uh, foul. Yes, she does. It's her third. Fifth the team foul on the Bulldogs. Woodrum will bring it up for Clahalia. Trap there at half court. Marion with a pick nearly, but uh, Woodrum will avoid the Violation and Cooper trying to make a move ran into uh, Marion. 
And Melissa just picked up her fourth. Official trick of the play from below us. Inbounds to Woodrum at midcourt. Throw it over to Schultz and Fish has it now. Steps inside the arc, launches a long two, goes right to the hands of Cartinson. Cartinson spins up the sidelines. Throws it up to Marion. Marion to the hoop. Oh, popped out. Rebound. Griffey had it. Slapped out of her hands by Cooper. Cooper had a pull knocked out of her hands. And now uh, Natalie Cartinson will pick up her first on the sixth team foul for the Bulldogs. 3.33 to go here, third quarter, 29 to 6. Hudson hits it. Jenna Hudson, the freshman, with the basket. Here comes Marion. Marion to the three-point arc. Leaves it uh, for Green. Loses the handle. Green goes sliding out of bounds. And that'll be a turnover on North Mason. Jillian Mari is stepped in for the first time uh, tonight for the Bulldogs. A couple of substitutions for Clahalia. We'll get those when we find out who they are. One of them is the girl with the ball. Down to Hudson. Hudson had it uh, slapped out of his hand, her hands. Green ties her up. That's the jump ball. That'll be oh, uh, over to the Bulldogs on the alternating possession. Shoemaker under the basket, can't finish. Ball comes to the Bulldogs. Turnaround jumper by Cartinson, missed it. Ball slapped out of bounds. And that'll stay with the Bulldogs. Leading by 21. Baseline inbounds, Griffey will trigger the play. Lob it in, Cartinson to the hoop. Oh, it popped out. Nothing's dropping at this end of the court for North Mason. Woodrum. Gets it up to Radford. Knocked out of bounds by, uh, let's see, Mayuri. Inbounds, goes to Watson. Gets the ball back at the elbow. Uh, blocked into the hands of uh, Hudson. She can't handle it, goes out of bounds. 26 turnovers by my count on the Eagles. Cartinson. Griffey with it now. Lob it up. Shoemaker under the basket, wisely turns around, finds Cartinson, pull up jumper at the foul line, missed that one, rebound. Cartinson, baseline jumper won't fall. And the rebound goes to Hudson. Hudson to fish, but it hit, uh, I guess it was deflected by uh, Green, just with a fingertip. Here come the Eagles. Redford with it to Fish. And a pickoff by Griffey. Comes Carkinson up to Jillian Morari, who uh, hit the basket off the turnover and under two minutes to go. Woodrum with it to Radford. Back to Woodrum, turns, shoots from the elbow, missed it. Rebound goes to the uh, Bulldogs. Rory to Griffey to Cartinson. Jumper at the foul line. No. Rebound green. And it blocked. Ball goes right to Cartinson. She'll tap it up and in. Give her a dozen points on the night. And the biggest lead of the night for North Mason. Ranford gets fouled going up the sidelines. The seventh team foul on the Bulldogs, and I didn't see who was that foul was on. It's one and one from here on out. So Ranford will uh, shoot the first of a one and one. Missed it. Rebound goes to Hendricks. Hendricks lost the handle, and here comes Green. Green quickly up to Griffey. Griffey did three point arc to the side of the paint, right to the hoop. Missed the shot, but drew the foul. Yeah. 
First free throw by Griffey. Got it. He's uh, one for two. Now has uh, eight points. Second free throw. Off. Rebound. Goes to Hendricks. Hendricks to Cooper. Up to Radford. Radford trip, but no whistle. Ball rolls to the baseline. Green can't quite stop it in time. Hit the uh, the line. It'll be eagle ball. Inbounds thrown away. Rory with the, uh, the pick, and she can't quite get it to Brown. The Clahalia ball. Lilik back in there for the Eagles. She has the ball. She's bumped and fouled by Green. And Abigail got picked up her first foul. Rachel Youngman back in the ball game for the Bulldogs. Placing Griffey. Ali, I think it's Luck, with the free throw, missed it. And Brown with the uh, double dribble. This will be baseline inbounds for the uh, Eagles. Cooper will trigger the play. Inbounds. Goes to Roberts. Roberts, uh, there's a shot rejected. Back to Luck, well, down to Cooper. Cooper trying to make a move, loses the handle. And that'll go off of Luck out of bounds. And that'll be 28 turnovers on the Eagles. Bulldogs with the ball. Comes Brown, Green gets right back to Brown. Brown pull up jumper, hits it. That's her fifth point tonight, second basket. Cooper with the ball. Down to Hendricks. Oh, that popped out. Cooper will track down the rebound. Turn and try and drive. She's going to be fouled by Brown. Before on Malaya. Be 19 fouls. <laughs> Matthew step back, uh, steps back onto the court. She'll get Brown. Fish is in. Roberts will sit down for Clahalia. And Cooper at the line. She's over three. Oop, she hit one. She get another one. One for four. The free throw line. Thirteen and a half seconds to go here. Third quarter, 36 to nine. That's their score. Cooper makes it double digits for the Eagles. Matthews with the ball. Gets it in to Youngman. Youngman pushed and reaching and no whistle. Finally a whistle. And Luck will get a fourth personal. Fourth team foul on the Eagles. So inbounds it. Thrown into Green. Green up top. To Mari. Mari missed the uh, jumper, and that'll do it for three quarters. North Mason on top, 36 to 10. We'll be right back. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Getting that college education. What are you going to do? Graduate and take some office job? Be like everybody else. Or will you dare do something different? Like be a teacher. You could be my teacher. You got the skills. The smarts. Yes, you. You could be the teacher I never forget. That would be cool. Does that corporate job even have recess? What are you going to make of yourself? What are you going to make of me? Mason Web TV, powered by HCC, is getting in the holiday spirit with live coverage of the 2018 Christmastown USA Christmas Parade presented by Christmastown Kiwanis on Saturday, December 8th. Join us at 5 p.m. as each parade entry lights up downtown Chicago. Our vantage point will once again be the Angle Building at 4th and Railroad. It's a 2018 Christmastown USA Christmas Parade presented by Christmastown Kiwanis, 5 p.m. Saturday, December 8th on Mason Web TV, powered by HCC.
Well, the fourth quarter just gets underway. Cooper with the side of the paint down to Hendricks. And there's going to be a whistle on the inbound, or on the uh, plate of the hoop. Small Yee picked up her first. Two free throws coming for Hendricks. She hit the first one, she get another one. She is two points tonight, she's two for three. And the strike. Second one, rattled off. Rebound pulled down by Shoemaker. Shoemaker, center of the court. To Matthews, Matthews, kick it out to Maury. Maury for three, it goes in. Jillian with her five points tonight. Here comes Luck. To Cooper. Try to get it across the court to uh, Fish, deflected by Matthews, and now Fish with it. Quick pass down low, played it up was uh, Hendricks. Missed a shot and two shots coming. Schumacher picked up her second. And double bonus coming for uh, Kayla Hendricks. Two for four, two points so far tonight. Oh boy. In and out on that uh, first free throw. Let's get another one. Next one up and in. So Matthews will bring the ball up. Bothered by luck. Crossing the midcourt, draws a double team. Ball pops free. But right to Youngman. Youngman pity pats the dribble. Went off her feet just enough to get the turnover to travel. 17 turnovers on North Mason. 28 on Lahalia. Luck with the ball in backcourt. And it's knocked out of bounds by Abigail Green. Stays with the uh, Eagles. Cooper with it, high post feed to Fish, down to Hendricks. Hendricks fighting for the ball, and she's fouled. Hendricks back to the free throw line. I think on Matthews, her fourth. Hendricks rolls in the first one. Cartonson will step back in. Matthews will sit down, and who else came in? And Woodrum is back on for Clahalia. Second free throw off the mark, rebound Cartinson. Nice, nice passing as Julian hit the, uh, the layup. Give her seven points tonight. Down to Hendricks, but overhead out of bounds. Schultz is back in. Fish will sit down for Clahalia. It's uh, Bulldog ball. Jillian Mayuri with the inbounds. There's Shoemaker with it, center of the court. Over to Mayuri. Missed the three. Rebound goes to uh, Hendricks. Cooper has the ball. She's bumped and fouled, crossing the court. And Cooper will be at the free throw line now. Two for five at the free throw line. Is Cooper? Oh, actually, nope, they're not going to call a foul. Excuse me. Not sure they would. Luck with the ball. To the baseline. Slid that pivot foot, but no call. Hendricks can't handle it. It'll go over to... Oh, the Bulldogs have the ball. Uh, Griffey will return. Young will return for North Mason. So Yuri, Griffey, Cartinson, Young, and Shoemaker on the court for North Mason. Cartinson with the ball. Hooks pass down the baseline to Young. Young up. Nope. Rebound pulled down by the Eagles. Here comes Luck. Bouncing it over to uh, Woodrum. Back to Luck. 
Near side now, Cooper to Woodrum. Woodrum lost the handle, went to the deck, tied up by Griffey. And that will go over to the Bulldogs. 5.42 to go here in the fourth. 41-13 is the score. Cartinson with the ball for North Mason. To Shoemaker, Shoemaker to the foul line. To the elbow, hits, miss, makes the jumper miss. Yuri <laughs> with the uh, rebound, and then she picked up that pivot foot just a little bit. Go back over to Clahalia. Luck with the ball for the Eagles. Bounce it over the corner to Woodrum, and threw it right to. Yuri, but she drew in and picked up her pivot foot before she put the ball down, so let's turn over right back, so no harm, no foul, I guess. Woodrum will inbounds it. Not Schultz, excuse me. Gets it right back. Try to get it down to Cooper. Cooper side of the paint, and it's to Schultz. Schultz to the ba uh, baseline. Threw it to Hendricks, but went off of her foot right to Young. Up to Griffey. Griffey to the hoop. It couldn't stop. So it will be Clahalia ball, 5.03 to go here in the ball game. Griffey, actually, no, it wasn't due. Inbounds, well, tipped and will stay with the, uh, the Bulldogs here. Cartinson will inbounds it to Mayuri. Cardinson over to Griffey. Griffey eyes the hook for three. He adds an air ball. Saved in bounds by Young. Right to Cardinson. Cardinson. I'm not really sure what this referee team is seeing out here. Well, that's going to be a foul on Kayla Hendricks. Second uh, personal. 17 fouls. So uh, Natalie Cartinson is at the free throw line for the first of a one and one for North Mason. Missed the first one. Comes Luck quickly the other direction. Stops, slapped. Julian picked up her second. Two shots for uh, Molly Luck. Camera, should get the first one. Should get another one. Missed it, rebound, Cooper right back up. Missed that one, got it again, but nope, lost it to Cartinson. Cartinson with the ball, throw it out to uh, Julian. Back to Cartinson, up to Young. Young little runner, you missed it. Rebound pulled down by Schultz. Here come the Eagles. Schultz steps back, takes a three. Young with the rebound, and then there's going to be a foul on Woodrum. So we'll walk to the other end of the court. Shoot a one and one. So it's three on uh, Kylie Woodrum. Young, her first trip to the free throw line, has two points tonight. 4.20 to go in the ballgame, 41 to 14. And it's an air ball. So the Eagles have the ball, trailing by a bunch. Luck with the ball. Throws it over to Woodrum. Schultz had her shot rejected. Cooper with it to Luck. It's stolen away by Young. And then Luck comes away with it, and then it's going to be traveling. Uh, it's a turnover, turnover. So Griffey will inbounds it to Carkinson. Out to... Oh boy, Julian having a night with a three. It's her second three in the quarter. Ten points tonight. 
It's a 30-point lead. Another turnover. Murray with the ball. She's going to lose the handle, and it'll be out of bounds to Clahalia. And a foul on Jillian. Jillian with an offensive foul. So Roberts steps back on. Hudson is in. Let's see here. Drew Watson as well. Working with Luck, who has the ball. And Cooper, who's played most of this game. And Griffey picked up her. I think that's her third. That's her third. So we're at the free throw line for a couple of free throws for Luck. She's two points tonight. She's two for... Two for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two for seven at the free throw line. Only a point. Make it two. So Marion will step on for Griffey. It's bulldog ball. And let's see here. Somebody else stepped on. Again, let's see who the new player for Clahalia is. Carson said, oh boy, she took a lot of steps. No whistle. And uh, Cooper comes away with it. And off the hands of Watson, out of bounds. The pass from uh, Radford. Matthews checks back in for the Bulldogs. Young will sit down. Mayuri will inbounds it. And it's deflected, and Cooper comes away with it. Over to Roberts, her shot kind of flat, fell off. Cartinson with the rebound up the far sidelines. Coming the other way, right to the hoop, put it up short. Personal foul on Kayla uh, Radford, her first. And Carsonson is at the free throw line. Got the first one, she'll get another one. Give her 13 points tonight. Mm. Leads back to uh, 30. Second free throw. In and out and back in. Here comes Abigail Green. Natalie Kirkinson will sit down. And here come the Eagles. 3.08 to go here in the ball game. Radford backing down. Just dribbled on the uh, sidelines. And that's 35 turnovers on Clahalia. Marion will bring it up for North Mason. Throw it over. Three on the way by Green. Her first basket of the night, and it's a free ball. Radford, high post feed from midcourt to Cooper. Cooper muscles up a shot that's partially blocked. Matthews with the rebound. And here come the um, Bulldogs for approaching two and a half minutes. Matthews with it, side of the paint. Turn around, jumper doesn't fall, and somehow my camera's getting a little free here. And that'll be a Clahalia ball. Schultz will step back in. Cooper will sit down. Radford with the uh, the rock over to, to Woodrum and nearly picked off by Shoemaker. Blocked by, block and foul, I guess you could say, by uh, Jillian Maruri. It's her fourth. And at the free throw line, who is this? Can't see her number. First free throw rattled out. As Youngman will step back in for Julian. Is this Watson at the line? Missed both of them. And there's a flat footed shot that falls off. Hudson knocks it out of bounds. That'll go over the Bulldogs. 2.04 to go here in the ballgame. 49-15 is the score. 
Matthews will trigger the play. Inbounds. To Youngman, back to Matthews, center of the court. Nearly stolen away. Ball still free. And Klahaya has a pick. Here comes Roberts. Roberts to the three-point arc. To the trailer. Schultz, three off. Rebound goes to Youngman. Youngman. Ooh, a little confusion there. And trying to get it is uh, Marion. It'll be Eagle Ball. Sideline inbounds. Schultz will trigger the play. Try to get it in. Get it into Roberts. Roberts turns around and shoots one. Off the glass. No. Schultz with the pass to Hudson and a foul on the Bulldogs. That'll go on Matthews, and that should be five. That's five for Natalie Matthews. And Abigail Brown will step on. Matthews fouled out with two points tonight, but uh, a good, uh, good effort uh, defensively. Cardinson will uh, step onto the court. So it's Curtinson, uh, Manning, Green, Youngman, and Brown, I believe, as Hudson missed the first free throw. Should get one more. Short on the se second one. Rebound goes to... Uh, Marion. Marion will come out of the pack with the ball. Threw it away, actually coming up. Hudson lobs it up. And a pull-up jumper off the backboard by Watson. Rebound to Roberts, out to Schultz. Schultz for a long two, missed it. Rebound pulled down by Brown. Brown to the hoop, puts it up and in. Approaching a minute to go here in the ball game, 51 to 15. Another turnover, Cartinson with it. Oop. Nice long arms grabbed it out of the air for Schultz. Schultz going the other way, he wants the handle of it, but it's tipped out of bounds by Cartinson. We've got a couple of turnovers to add to the total here. So Schultz will trigger the play. Inbounds to Hudson. Hudson puts it up, missed it. Rebound goes to Green. And it's a jump ball. Stay with uh, Clahoga. So Schultz will trigger the play again for Clahoga. Right of the backboard. Throws it in. <laughs> Ball's out to uh, Schultz. She'll hit the jumper for first points of the night. We we'll approach 30 seconds and a travel on the pass off by Marine. And I have 25 turnovers on the Bulldogs. 36 on the Eagles, and this of course is unofficial and probably not very accurate. Schultz will trigger the play, lob it right into the hands of Marine. Mar uh, Marine. Marine splits a double team with the ball on the dribble, trying to go coast to coast, puts it up, missed it. Rebound, Schultz out of the pack, 20 seconds. Up to Roberts. Roberts beyond the three-point arc. Throws it right into the hands of Green, bouncing it to Marion. Marion up to Cartinson. Cartinson, turn around, hook. Nope. Rebound pulled down. And that was Green with a, a shot. And that'll do it. 51 to 17 is the final with uh, North Mason improving to 2-0. We will take a timeout. We'll be right back, wrap this game up, set the scene for the next one coming up in about, let's see what time is it, oh, in about 20 minutes. We'll be right back. This is Mason Web TV, powered by HCC.
Eva Marie smoked 12,000 packs of cigarettes over 15 years. She quit, and now there's a new lung cancer screening that could save her life. You stopped smoking, now start screening. No matter how much you smoked, early detection could save you. Talk to your doctor or learn more at savedbythescan.org. There's always something happening at Maple Glen Senior Living Community in Shelton. From craft bazaars and farmers markets to art lectures and wedding receptions, this award-winning community has something for everyone. Caring staff, unbelievable meals, unmatched accommodations, and a signature dining room, all at one location, 1700 North 13th Loop in Shelton. Maple Glen is only feet away from the hospital, medical professionals, and pharmacies. Stop in for Sunday brunch or call to schedule a tour to view apartments at Maple Glen Senior Living Community in Shelton. Well, it's a final for the girls game. North Mason uh, Lady Bulldogs knocked off the uh, Clahalla Lady Eagles by a score of 51 to uh, 17, leading the way for North Mason. Natalie Cartinson with 14 points. Julian, and I apologize, I'm sure I'm pronouncing this wrong, Mayuri at 10 points. Seven for Morgan Shoemaker. Eight for uh, Kirsten Griffey. Seven for uh, Leah Brown. Three for Abigail Green. A basket for Natalie Matthews. And a basket for uh, Natalie Young. So the Lady Bulldogs are 2-0. and oh. uh, Leading the way for the Eagles in the loss, uh, Kylie Woodrum had four points. Kayla Hendricks also four points. Three, all from the foul line by uh, Molly Luck. Uh, two free throws for uh, Katie Cooper and a basket for Jenna Hudson. So Clahalla drops to 0-1 on this season. So next up for the uh, North Mason girls, they host Shelton on Friday night right here in this building. Clahalia travels to Forks on Saturday. It's a long road trip for the Lady Eagles. And that uh, takes care of the girls game. Stay tuned for the boys game in uh, just moments, in about 15 minutes. And so the final here in the girls game, North Mason 51, Clahalia 17. We'll be back uh, shortly. I'm going to get down and try to get to a coach interview. Uh, and starting lineups for the boys game, which is coming up in about 15 minutes. So stay tuned. We'll be back.